Hello, my name is Robert Willicks, and welcome to Sony's update on sports and entertainment imaging technology. Like you, many of us at Sony are sheltered in our homes. We created this series of videos so that during this time, we can give you the flavor of what we're working on and the directions that we're headed. This presentation is about new and emerging tools for sports and entertainment imaging. We hope you get to use some of these tools on a production in the very near future. Here are the foundations of our live production toolkit. Always push for generational improvement. Innovation isn't just about picture quality. It's providing useful and valuable tools that will give your production more options or enhance the audience experience. Overall, we strive for you to get the most from your Sony investment and to continue to invest in the future. Last year, we introduced the HTC 3500 and 5500. Game Creek announced last NEB that they would purchase the first 50 HTC 5500s, which they did. Since then, mobile truck companies like NEP, MGTV, and Dome have purchased HTC 3500, 5500, and P50 cameras to produce important and very challenging live events. NBC purchased more than 100 HTC 3500 studio cameras to be used in the legendary 30 Rock facility and on their most prestigious shows. The Canadian Broadcasting Corporation's brand new broadcast center in Montreal will feature 36 HTC 3000 series cameras. Sony uses Sony Design and manufactures CMOS in all of their studio cameras. Our HTC series cameras take a no compromise path, all using three imagers on a prism that were designed for live television instead of a single sensor approach. The HTC 3500 system was brought to market as a low cost camera to support 4K, HDR, 1080p, and 120i. Was also brought out to refresh our first and second generation HTC cameras that have been in market for a very long time and done yeoman's work. However, we do maintain backwards compatibility with legacy systems. So the HTC 2000 will be able to uh, directly connect into the new CCUs, the 3500 camera itself will connect into the older HTC U2000 series and use the existing remote control panels. We can also use the existing HDLA and viewfinders. So it's a cost-effective planned upgrade path rather than a wholesale uh, replacement of all the equipment on the truck. The new camera features uh, SMPTE compatibility, a new digital triac system, and wireless, all accomplished through side panels, and can utilize single mode fiber and a new IP transmission system with HDCE adapters. The CCUs provide HDR, SDR, 4K, and HD outputs. Optional IP and 12G CCU outputs are available. The HDC 5500 system is our flagship 4K camera. We introduced it this time last year. It features two times 4K and eight times HD high frame rate capability. It also utilizes the side panels for digital triacs, wireless and 1080-60p implementation. So this new camera can actually be compatible with the 3500 system as well as the last generation 2000 system if need be. The HTC U5000 and 5500 also offers simultaneous HDR, SDR, 4K and HD outputs. 12G output is standard and has an option for IP outputs. Every great camera family now requires a great POV solution. The HTC P50 system shares the same imagers as the 5500 and 3500 system, making it an exact match to those cameras. It offers onboard 12G or 3G SDI interfaces, can output 4K and HD HDR for Steadicam robotics and uh, other systems, and offers up to six times HD high frame rate. We've also developed a new generation of remote control panels and master setup units to address new features and networking capability. Now I'd like to give you an overview of two new products that will increase the flexibility of our studio camera toolkit. We are proud to present a new set of HDCE IP ST2110 compliant transmission adapters for our high definition HDC cameras. By being format agnostic and simply ST2110 MWA NMOS compliant, our IP live solutions can adapt to the very demands of the market. As a result, we now have more than 100 OB trucks and studios in operation, making Sony the leading provider of IP solutions in the world. To expand ST2110 IP connectivity from the HDC3500 and legacy HD cameras, we've added the HDCE TX30, a small footprint camera extension adapter that outputs ST2110, 
which can then be routed to the rest of the plant for more efficient and flexible operation. The HDCE TX30 can also be used as a CCU at the front of an IP system, as it features local monitoring of video and inputs for RCP control. Here's a simple block diagram of the HDCE TX30. Signals are fed from the camera via SMPTE fiber to the TX30. The unit converts the signals to ST2110 and then to a switch where it enters the ST2110 system. The HDCE receives tally, intercom, and return video signals from the IP network. The system also features the ability to send a second video signal via the ST2110. The trunk connector on the HTC cameras allow a video signal to be input into the camera and then sent as a second video signal on the fiber. The signal is now also converted to IP and sent to the network. We also have the ability, through the use of third-party equipment like the Nevion Virtuoso, to compress the signals for the use with lower power bandwidths. The HDCE TX30 can be paired with the HDCE RX30 for use in a traditional SDI environment. The HDCE RX30 converts the ST2110 back to SMPTE fiber and sends on to an HDCU 3000 series control unit. This system is valuable in cases where you need a more comprehensive set of system camera outputs or are simply using the HDCE TX30 to bring in distant camera signals where single mode fiber would not be feasible. In this system, the HDCE TX30 is being used as a wall mount interface through two studios. The HDCE would enable the flexibility to dynamically assign or add cameras to a production on a plug and play basis. The HKCU REC5055 system is a kit that enables in CCU recording capability with the new 3000 and 5000 series Sony camera control units. The concept is that we can have a 10 bit 4K HDR optimized recorder that can simultaneously record HD SDR right in the CCU. This negates the need for specialized outboard recorders and the related time for cabling and network. In CCU recording also saves valuable real estate on a mobile or in a flight pack. It can give you the option to have backup record capability, so you always have a shot to go to in post. The ISO REC also features 10 gigabit ether transfer to a NAS or external storage like a USB hard drive via USB 3.1, both during recording. You can network control the NCCU recorders using our PWA RCT1. This allows you to stop, start, assign, and playback the NCCU recorders. Here's a diagram of the ISOREC system, network for control, file transfer, and USB 3.1. Notice that the HDCU 5500-3500 half-rack CCU takes the HKCU REC55, and the HDCU 5000 utilizes the HKCU REC50. Due to the greater space in the HDCU 5000 full rack CCU, the REC50 kit has double the resources, allowing longer recording time and some additional features. The main recording format used in the NCCU recorder is 10-bit XAVCI class 480 and 300, and soon XAVCL class 200. These codecs are also ideal for HDR and SDR recording. HD recording is facilitated by 10-bit XAVCI Class 100 and MPEG-422. We will offer DNX HD in a future version up. The HKCU REC50 in the HDCU 5000 offers double the record time of the REC55, as well as playback during recording and main subfile transfer capabilities. To complement our NCCU record capability and add to our HDR toolkit, We've just introduced a flagship HDR camcorder, the PXW-Z750. The Z750 features many of the same operating points as the NCCU recorder in both 4K and HD. The camcorder supports HLG and S-Log3 to complement HDR live production. The camcorder also offers S-Gamut for cinema applications. The PXW-Z750 is equipped with our 4K 3-chip global shutter sensor, which produces an image that is virtually identical to the HDC 3500-5500. The Z750 has already earned the trust of many premier content creators. The PXW Z750 was used by Entertainment Tonight to record the red carpet at the Big Annual Motion Picture Awards. Bob Campy, director of photography, said the biggest selling point was the global shutter, which eliminates flash banding. In sports, the Phoenix Suns chose the PXW Z750 as their new camera platform. 
Both Entertainment Tonight and The Suns singled out the 4K 2.3 inch global shutter, high frame rate, and familiar workflow as major factors in deciding to purchase the camcorder. We're also introducing a software license that adds HD HDR capability to the PXW X400 2.3 inch HD camcorder. The license enables creators to easily integrate 1080-60p HDR into their productions. And Fox is committed to purchasing the first 60 licenses. The PXW X400, Z450, and Z750 camcorders incorporate SR Live metadata. This allows our high-end camcorders to complement HDR Live production with both live and pre-production elements. Check out Hugo Gaggioni's HDR production video that covers SR Live metadata in much more detail. Many production companies have been experimenting with how to use the stunning imagery from the UHC 8300 8K camera. At four times the resolution and twice the frame rate of 4K, the 8K images are breathtaking and very compelling. The exceptional picture quality of the three 8K CMOS imagers combined with flexible system outputs at 4K and HD resolutions are many. We are sure producers will find innovative applications in sports and entertainment. Here's an example of how the 8K system was used at the big game in Miami. Here is the full frame from our 8K camera. Using the comprehensive outputs of the camera control unit, we can simultaneously output three 4K 120 frame per second cutouts from the 8K canvas, shown here by replay red, green, and blue. The yellow area is a variable output of the canvas that can be between 4K and 8K. In this case, it's about 6.5K in area, and that is being down converted to 4K and output as 120 frames per second. The blue area is the full 8K screen that is available as a 4K 60p down conversion. Using the cutout software from our PWS 4500 server, a variable HD 120p cutout can be created from any of the 4K recorded streams. Here to tell you about using the 8K camera at the big football game in Miami is Mike Davies of Fox Sports. The way we set it up in the big game was that we had two cameras, two lock off at UHC 8300s. One was shooting the San Francisco sideline and the other one was shooting the uh, Kansas City sideline. Now we didn't have to move these cameras because the operator back in the truck would be able to use the extraction windows to zoom in and move with the action. It was the only place that we really didn't have 100% coverage yet with the uh, Sony 8K camera we were covered there as well. The third camera we used to shoot the game. Um, it was a single camera uh, shoot that we actually used a robotic for, and we used it essentially to see what a football game looked like in 8K. Sony brought along one of their large 95-inch monitors, and we were able to view it back in the compound, and it was like you were looking through a window. Sony's new 360-degree replay system will energize fan engagement. Our Freeview replay solution combines 16 PXW Z280 4K 60p professional cameras with a volumetric rendering system to render images in approximately 10 seconds. This will give sports producers another unique view for replay analysis. By using the 16 PXW Z280s with its built-in lens, a fixed installation isn't required. Freeview can be used on a per event basis, allowing the production to use the systems in many locations and not be tied to a specific venue. Thank you so much for your time. I hope to be seeing all of you soon on location with these new tools making great content. All the best.